Hello ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering what is this? Well, most of my generation also don't know what is this. This is called Kayon. It is used to mark the beginning and the end of every Wayang Kulit or Papa Shadow play. But actually, Kayon is a dying art. The motives in Kayon were derived from nature. And my mentor said that everything that was derived from nature can be developed into computational system. But this is not how we use Kayon. This is how we use Kayon. We only use the shadow of it. As we can see, the main motif in Kayon represents in the form of a tree, which is called the tree of life. Therefore, this is my research. Regenerating Indonesian traditional tree of life. My name is Alvina and I'm from Timulia. The goal of this research is to find the algorithm to regenerate the tree of life, such one that may recreate and develop further the design of tree of life, simultaneously preserving all culture. Because most of the Kayon makers are just copying the existing motif. That's why the motif development of the tree of life is dying. Fractal is a repeated pattern of curves or geometric figure, each part of which has the same statistical character as the whole. Fractal has fractional dimension between 1 and 2, or 2 and 3. This research uses the Hausdorff dimension method to do dimension calculation. It is defined as d equals log n per log r. This is an example of tree of life inside Kayon, and this is itself similar, or we can say the small tree of life. N is the number of self similar pieces inside the tree of life, and R is the ratio between the big one and the small one. There are 32 self similars in this tree of life, and the ratio is 10.8. So the fractal dimension is 1.46. This research uses 15 samples of tree of life inside the kayons. The fractal dimension of the tree of life is between 1 and 2.2, and the average fractal dimension is 1.5. These are the calculation details. Looking into one kayon, the highlighted part is the tree of life. And this is the tree of life regenerated in NetLogo. After computing using NetLogo, the result can be used as a template to develop further the tree of life. As I said before, everything that was derived from nature can be developed into a computational system. linden bear system, or L system, is a writing system guide used to simulate plants morphology. It is a language which describes a set of strings made by the application of certain rules applied to assemble complex objects out of a simple one. And the L system rules for the tree of life is A equals AAA. But turtles should not collide with the existing branch. If it will collide, then it will die. These L system rules are being translated into NetLogo programming language. NetLogo uses turtle as our pen and patch as our paper. Now I'm going to explain the process flow of that algorithm. First, the turtle will create a line which is called the root and then it will detect whether there's any branch in front or not. If there is, then the turtle will die and stop drawing the line. But if there's none, it will create three branches and then detect whether there's any branch in front or not. This process will keep on repeating until there's no turtles left. So the conclusion of my research is the tree of life is a fractal because it has fractional dimension between one and two. And Tree of Life is a generative art, of which a computational system can be used as a template. With this, I hope that my generation and the future generation will be interested in preserving the culture of Kayan by using computational models like my research as a template to an artistic tree of life. Thank you.